And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Another day of 70s continues to add to this list of 70 degrees or greater temperatures in the Fox Valley so far this month. Eight days and I think we'll get up to nine tomorrow and then afterwards it is going to start to cool down. And that cooler weather is not too far away from us. Looking over the lower 48s, you see where we have very warm weather across the southern up into the northern plains and the Midwest. Chicago hit a high of 78. But here's the cool weather on the backside of a strong area of low pressure that is developing right across the plains and will be heading in towards our direction. This morning, beautiful and sunny skies. That was pretty much all day long. A great day to be outside once again. Slightly cooler than yesterday, but still can't go wrong for seeing these temperatures at this time of the year. It's very rare that we get those. We've got a warm front boundary up to the north and then a secondary warm front down to the south. And along that frontal boundary, we have a few isolated showers and storms developing that are expected to lift up to the northeast. And then look what's happening off to the west. On the cold side of this area of low pressure, we've got some snowfall that's mainly in the higher elevations. In Montana, they've been holding off with some of the cold weather so far this fall, but now they're finally getting into some of that. And there's a lot of winter weather headlines in effect across uh, that portions where we do have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings where there are expected probably six to 12 inches of snowfall accumulation in the higher elevations. That's where we do have those winter storm warnings in effect. Now, snowfall accumulation starting to pick up across the Rockies. We won't be dealing with any snowfall, at least here for the time being, but what we will be monitoring will be some showers and thunderstorms. All of Wisconsin does have a general thunderstorm outlook and a very slim sliver of a marginal risk of severe weather. There's a better chance of seeing some organized severe storms over the central plain, so we're clearly not in that area. So as we head into the rest of the evening hours, we're going to start to see a few little pop up showers and storms probably close around 11 o'clock or so and moving during the overnight. This is 1:30 in the morning hours. And then as we get into sunrise tomorrow, looks like we get a little break in the action, but we can't rule out a few isolated showers or sprinkles during the afternoon and evening. Then a larger area of precipitation will move in here later Monday night into Tuesday morning, and that'll sweep right through our area. And it looks like at this time there could be some light rain showers along and east of the Fox Valley, and that does hug along the lake shore all until late Tuesday night and into early Wednesday morning. By the time we're all done with the rainfall, we could be picking up about a half inch to near an inch of rain, and we do need some rainfall. It has been dry across northeast Wisconsin and a lot of the lower 48s. We do have abnormally dry conditions and moderate drought conditions up to the north. So we'll take the rain since we certainly do need it. 59 for the overnight low southeast winds coming in at 10 to 20 miles per hour, still remaining breezy with those few isolated showers and storms. Tomorrow, the low 70s, but I think this is the last day of seeing those 70s for the time being. South winds 10 to 20, some gusts approaching near 30 miles per hour. After tomorrow's last day of the 70s, highs only in the 50s on Tuesday. A few light rain showers early Wednesday, 53 for the high. And then some dry weather does begin to move in here on the backside. Mostly sunny on Thursday, getting up to near 60 on Saturday.